We're at Ortho, Virginia, and we're going to give them a big thumbs up and maybe a thumb down. Because if you can't do this, you got problems. And here to help us with those problems is Dr. Sanjay Desai. And doctor, I want to ask you about the thumb to start with. Um, it is what sets us apart from other animals, isn't it? Yeah, it sure is. The thumb is very unique. It, uh, it, it occupies a huge amount of space in the brain. Uh, it's very necessary for just about every activity that uh, most humans participate in. And uh, when it uh, malfunctions, it's a big problem. It is, and it's not just like hitting the remote on the TV. Uh, you need it for pretty much all kinds of work. Yes, uh, just about every uh, job or uh, hobby uh, requires uh, excellent thumb use. And when people develop pain in their thumb, it really interferes with their entire life and causes a lot of problems and uh, depression and uh, the feelings that uh, they're helpless. Um, arthritis in the thumb is, um, I've learned from you today, is more common in women than men. It is. Uh, it, so, there's some theories as far as why that's so. Uh, some hormonal factors may be uh, working here. Uh, other uh, factors are the generalized ligament uh, looseness that uh, women tend to have more so than men. Men's thumbs tend to be a little stiffer. Uh, women uh, tend to have more uh, range of motion, and sometimes that can interfere uh, with the joint s staying seated. When the joint isn't seated, uh, it tends to be uh, loose and cause wearing of the cartilage. Well, fortunately for us, we have one of your star patients. Margaret Stell is here. And Margaret, you've had one hand done, yes, and you're going to work on the other. What kind of work do you do? Um, head clinical assistant for an orthodontist. And how painful was your thumb? To the point that I couldn't do my job. It That's was pretty important. Yes. And, what, and when, in your work, do you use your hands in small work, things like that? Yes, sir. Um, it's constantly pinching and twisting and turning and inserting wires. And you basically got to the point where you couldn't do that. Yes, sir. Um, now that one hand is done, how's it doing? Yeah, absolutely amazing. It feels like it's brand new. All right. So ready for number two now. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> well, thank you for being with us today. And uh, I want to talk a little bit. You've won all these awards, been voted eight times the best at what you do uh, in uh, Richmond Magazine. Um, moving forward, taking a look at this in the future, um, uh, is this number of incidents going to increase, or is it staying about the same? Has it been the same for the last several years? Well, you know, there's a huge uh, wave of uh, people that are – as everyone calls them, baby boomers. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about that generation is that they, they want to stay active and they want to do uh, everything that they did when they were in their 20s and 30s. Um, and I, th I think that uh, that's the challenge we have before us is, is in the old days people would uh, say, well, you know, I'm over a certain age and it's time to hang it up and I'm not going to do uh, certain things. But now the attitude has changed very much. Everyone says, I want to keep doing what, what I want to do. And, and j pretty much for everything that folks want to do. The thumb is a pretty critical uh, element of that. Almost as important as the surgery itself is the follow-up or the therapy afterwards, and that is extremely important, isn't it, doctor? Yes, uh, very much so. That's a really a critical element. What I tell uh, my patients is it's a three-legged stool. So there's the patient, there's the surgeon, and there's the therapist. And if each leg of that stool stands up, you're going to have a great result. Um, so the therapy, I think, is, is equally important to the technical ability of the surgeon as well as the commitment of the patient. Margaret, you got one done? How's it feel? Big it, difference? It's a big difference, yes, sir. Um, without having the surgery done, I could not properly function at work at all. Couldn't write, couldn't hold anything, pinch anything, much less open a jar. Okay. Well, we're going to take a break here and uh, thank both of you very much. Very informative from Ortho, Virginia. Now let's go back to Virginia this morning.